siamo di nuovo operativi. The work is called No Concerto, and in fact it is no concerto. In, in a certain sense it's somewhere between concerto and maybe a theater piece. Uh, but it's also a, a word play as it is a fragment of piano concerto. I imagine uh, a, a front page of Beethoven's fourth piano concerto ripped apart and the only thing which is left is no concerto. I imagine that this takes place uh, very far in the future. A situation where people encounter music for the first time. What I try to imagine is what if somebody from the future were to encounter for the first time Beethoven's fourth piano concerto and if they have absolutely no idea, maybe they, there had been some sort of catastrophe, so they knew very little about the human beings of our time. All they know is just like what we know from the Aztec people, very sparse uh, findings through archaeology, and we put things together and we try to imagine what it, what it was like. In a way, we are also not sure if, if we actually hear it in the same way than they did on Beethoven's time, time and when they actually heard it for the first time. But at least when you've heard something many times, in a way you stop listening and you take things for granted and you go into a more automatic listening. This piece is very particular in a way that it's not only the music, but it's that becomes transformed. But um, there's also the part which is totally theatrical. So as a pianist, which we are used to play in the total light with a perfect light, um, in this piece we have to play in a dark, for example, with um, very, very different light conditions. It's a very extravagant condition where you have everything else but the normal um, way of playing and there's also an interaction with the not only the orchestra but also with the actor so it becomes something almost like a theater piece They find an old musical tape reel uh, and they find an old tape machine and they manage to uh, let it produce sound and they take this sound and put it into a very speculative technological uh, device that they have in uh, invented which can take the acoustic information because acoustic information obviously contains also information about a space. Yeah, if I do like this, there'll be a little bit of reverb. If you have a big computer, you can calculate many properties about this space. And apparently they have a very big computer, so they can really reconstruct the space where recording was uh, taking place. Yeah? And so they can simulate uh, or project an image of the concert hall when this recording was taking place. And then the scientist goes into this hall and tries to understand what he sees and what he hears. Um. 